So Jeff Niels has a question that I think that every tournament angler kind of at some point or another really struggles with is like, man, how do you prepare mentally um, for tournaments? And, and I can tell you it's different when I'm going to get ready for an elite series event that's a four day tournament, you know, on a giant body of water compared to, you know, your local lake where you might be fishing a Tuesday night tournament or, you know, a Saturday morning club tournament. The biggest thing in tournament preparation for me is I try to be prepared for whatever uh, mother nature might throw at me. So I'm watching the weather forecast, you know, religiously all week long for that time. And you, our weather is so good now, you can pull it up on your phone, you can see what's gonna happen. So you can be prepared for the conditions that way. The other thing is, is you know, fishing pressure, um, you know, what's, what else is going on if there's gonna be a bunch of water skiers out there, at, you know, going right through your favorite weed bed or something like that. Those are variables that are out of your control. So you wanna have options. You know, the best thing you can do out there to be prepared is if plan A fails, is to have a plan B, a C and D, to know that, hey, you know, if, if they're not biting on the, on the outside grass, then I've gotta have something else to go try. You know, when you've got a three hour tournament, you don't have time um, to waste in, in an area in, in dead water. You want to be where it's going to be the most productive and just roll with the conditions. You know, having a good mental attitude and being positive is a big part of that. You know, if negative things happen, you just got to overcome, move on, and have a plan of action for the, your next step while you're out there. So, you know, game plan for the day and then adjust to it as conditions change and, and Mother Nature or other, other variables are thrown at you that are out of your control.